What if I told you a single Python MCP client could seamlessly connect with both JavaScript and Python MCP servers? In this video, I'll show you how to unlock this cross-language power of MCP clients. Let's take a look at a small demo where the MCP client starts two servers and connects with its tools. Client is connected with AI model and SQL DB, and you can see the model says it can work on Excel and mail-related tasks. MCP Excel server that is used is written in Python. Link in description. The server is a collection of Excel-specific tools written with help of OpenPixel. After cloning the repo, the server and MCP client connecting to multiple servers will be in this location. We will get the Gmail server next. Gmail server, that is written in JavaScript, can be accessed here. Clone the repo to local drive and change into the repo folder. We have to compile the JS server using the build process as shown here, and then use the final JS script. Once the build process finishes, there will be dist folder inside. There will index.js server file, along with supporting modules. The list of available tools are shown here. Returning back to Excel MCP folder, we have to copy the server.py script and multi-server client.py script to Gmail server folder. We have to do this because Gmail server node module dependencies are available in the Gmail server folder. After copying, return to Gmail server folder again, and we can start the server with this command. We are using UV run command to run the client, so you need to install the UV package manager. The server and multi-server client have the dependencies added in header of the script. They will work out of the box. Code change required to connect two servers to Python MCP client is very simple. Let's look at the flow of MCP client to understand and then go through the walkthrough. MCP client released by the Anthropic team connects with one server. We are connecting two servers as shown here. The changes in the MCP clients will be discussed next. First is the MCP client class has a list of sessions. Then we have the connect to servers method with loops through the server file paths. In the loop connect to server method is called, we will see how this method is modified next. Following that, the sessions are enumerated and the list of tools in the sessions are printed. Server session establishment happens as it will for a single server. After the session establishment, they are appended to the session's attribute of the MCP client class. Before the end, the last session appended and initialized. In the process query method, again, the session's attribute is enumerated and all the tools are appended to available tools. The system prompt is updated to inform the tools that are available to the client so the AI can respond correctly. Connecting multiple servers is, in fact, much simpler than you thought. Most AI models today can analyze Excel documents and generate reports. But what if you want to keep your data private? In the next video, I'll show you how to build your own custom tool so your data stays secure and under your control.